Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Red World. Red World is the sequel to Paranormal Syndrome. It does not include the same characters, but it takes place in the same world, and like Paranormal Syndrome, it features people getting stuck in very terrible places. That day was a Saturday just like any other. There was nothing strange about that day, simply the same as always until I encountered a dreadful paranormal event. Akira, can you come here a little? Okay, mother. Let me finish up my video games first. Jeez. Can't pause it because it's online. What is it? Jeez. Ah, yes. Good, good. We've run out of tea in the fridge, you see. Akira, can you go buy some at the nearby convenience store? What a bother. I'm gonna be like Squall. Maybe so, but you're not doing anything until dinner, right? You can try helping out sometimes. Guess there's no helping it. Jeez. I guess it can't be helped. So then, I'll be giving you some money. Please come back without stopping on the way. The joke is we'll have to make a stop. A stop into the Twilight Zone. It's not really a joke, is it? I'm a bit disappointed there was no elevator music. If you're gonna have a terrible day, you might as well start off right. Hey, look! Smiley face. And Cyclops. I wonder if that's what's her name from Paranormal Syndrome. Looks kind of similar, doesn't she? So I never knew product has come out, huh? Perhaps this time, I'll try buying it. Um, tea. This should be fine, perhaps. My best hurry home so some paranormal activity can happen. Don't want to be late for that. Mm, split panning. See, this is because you lived in the fourth floor. Next stop, hell! What's going on? And I wasn't actually joking, I actually think it is because he lived on the fourth floor that this happened. There's a reason they actually remove that fourth floor button. Oh my god, it's a red world. If they're not gonna do a title drop, I'm gonna do it. It's locked? Anyone here? No. Table. Snake. What is that? It'll probably be best not to go near it. And what is that down there? 
some kind of weird flame. And it seems to be following me. Like some kind of video game mechanic. This thing is warning me that talking to things while enemies are around me is probably stupid. Bad. Snakes. I think there's snakes. Elevator. Ouch! Snake. Picked up a white crystal. Due to its sprite, it looks oddly like an old CD. Like someone had lost their AOL trials. That... That's a spider, okay. TV. Evil dragonflies? Go with the rest of our... Evil Disney animals? Come sing songs with us forever and ever! Oi. Wh what was that? Oi. Someone's there. Oi. It's no good. They seem to be only capable of saying one word. And my field of vision is so poor, I can't see anything. T. This world has a sense of... There's a description for it in decorating. It's a bit... Feng Shui, I guess? It's not really Feng Shui. It's just another word for it. That's the closest thing I can think of. A duplicate key for my home should be around here somewhere. Spider! It's this one. Alright, let's go home. Take the elevator. It's home. Mother's not here, I guess. It stopped. Hello? How are you here? Where did you come in from? Wait, j just wait a little. I asked you where you came in from. Where I came in from? From somewhere like that. Damn it, I might have overlooked it. Hey, who are you? What is this place? What are those black fellas? We'll talk about this more later. For now, come to where I am. I'll be waiting at the condominium's parking lot. Hey! But I can't get out of here because of those black monsters. Also, you gave really vague instructions and information to me, which might get me killed. Speaking of which, I have heard of this before. Dubious stories on places like the internet, like people wandering into an alternate world, returning to the real world with the help of man who suddenly appeared. So they were actually true, huh? A darkest sunset, 
strange rooms. Is this an alternate world? Good thing I spend so much time on the internet, or I wouldn't be prepared for this situation. With this, I'll be able to get out. You know, this this fence doesn't seem that high. He could have just leaped over it, you know, if he wasn't lazy. But I'd tear my pants! You... You're... Minecraft, dude. Yeah. Hanging up just like that. The exit was blocked for me, you know. It's your fault for being in a place like this. Animals and insects that came in. Through distortions in space-time. They've completely changed, continuously died in this twilight. Dimensional distortions? Then could I have perhaps... We've had enough idle chat already. Well, you get back out of here quickly now. Get back out, you say? What? Don't tell anyone what you saw here. Damn. He got xenomorphed. Huh? This is what happens when you get ahead of yourself. Uh, hey! This can't be... Answer me, please! Or I'll make more head puns! Now what do I do? And I'm also all fresh out of puns. Maybe I should try looking for people. Are you people? You don't look like it. Bat. Cats. Not just any cats, evil cats. Ouch. More evil cats. And those are... Those are... Snake Men from the original XCOM game. So, health items, and essentially, disappear the enemy items. It won't open. Banner up. Breaking in, entering. Uh. Oh, sh that's a, that's a, it's a Pikachu. I, I think that's a Pikachu, and these are chicks. Um, they're very aggressive and very deadly chicks. Uh, I, you really don't want to mess with them, it seems. Leave me alone, Pikachu! Pika Pika! Let's 
house. Flashlight. Cool. Ma'am, I think you have killer evil lizards in your attic. You might want to call an inspector for that. Oh, dog. Oh. Tex? Tex? Slimes. Pikachu. Leave me alone. It seems no matter how far we've come, horror games will never be more than anything but clicking keys simulators. I'm thirsty. Is this all right, I wonder? Hmm. Red World Soda. Wait! <laughs> Who are you? Mmm, Forbidden Soda. You see, when you eat something from a different world, you become a resident of that world. I'm Aihara Mayu. I followed you here, thinking there was someone else here, but it seems like you're in the same situation as I am, aren't you? The same situation, you say. Could you possibly actually mean that you also... Ah, uh, yes. It seems so after all. Even though I thought I would finally have a chance to get back. Hey, is this an alternate world? Have I finally teleported to Gensokyo? There's no way I'd know that. That, a moment ago, was just me warning you, just in case. So you don't know if this soda's forbidden or not? So then, let's go. Ah? Huh? Are you telling me to just go around this kind of place all by myself? Despite how you also look a little relieved to see me here. H hey Come quickly. I'll be waiting. Now the music tempo changes. It means it's dramatic. Speaking of which, I've never asked you for your name, did I? Aiba, Akia. Hmm. So you called Akia. Should I really trust this fella? For now at least, let's find some clues as for what to do, okay? Ah, yes. Don't just stray from the subject. Some of the same problems that, uh, Forest Drizzling Rain had. God dang damn it, Pikachu! Get, get. Ouch! So I take it looking for clues is gonna be looking for keys. We sort of resemble each other, don't we? Ah? See, like in how our names sound. Aiba, Akia, Aihara, Mayu, right? Doesn't this fella have any sense of danger? Ah, uh, everyone at least tries going along with what I'm saying. But for you to have no reaction at all, what a downer. Don't you feel uneasy about this song that's just... Uh, just basically someone slapping his hands on a piano key over and over again. Listen to it. That's all it is. Da. You can stop making me feel uneasy by saying such things, okay? To put it plainly, it only get in the way. You softy. 
My bad. Be careful now. It's alright. I forgive you. I think he was trying to say, I'll be careful. Oh, I took that anyway. So we're going to go through here, huh? It's a lot better than staying around somewhere like this. This evening sun somehow feels bad for the eyes, after all. That's certainly true. Plus, we get away from this horrible music. Dong. Does that actually sound like that? And we get to replace this, the alpha piano with... I guess... Spooky noises? Snakes. Seems to be the accent, isn't it? Ah, yes. Though it doesn't seem to be an ordinary one. Be careful now, Akia. Damn, the sewer level. How nightmarish. A valve. Card key slot to show that we have to collect keys once again. Ooh, see, these little, these little snakes are... They're, they're trying to put me in a world of torment. Crap! Was there ever a facility like this inside the tunnel? No way there'd be one. It should have been connected to the next town. This world resembles the Kikugawa city that we're familiar with, but it's completely different, isn't it? Can avoid these crabs. Secretly an NES kind of over-the-top platforming game like... What is it called? Uh, Island... Star Tropics. Rather than a traditional horror game. Ouch! Uh. Hey look, it's our friends, the uh, squiggly, wiggly, arm tube, flatedly tube man dudes from uh, Paranormal Syndrome. They're just as fast as evil as ever. You picked up key. Now we're going to use this key to pick up another key. <laughs> Keys for our keys. You, you fucking snake! Cave level. Slime. Spider. Key codes. I'm gonna go back the other way. These crabs. Barrel. It's really big, isn't it? There's no avail even if we wander places like these. I know that. You just wonder where this is connected to, right? Uh, jumping out of the character is just so old school. I just really like it. Um, it's terrible from an immersion standpoint, but it just looks... It's just really nostalgic. That's, that's the word. Hi, guys. You're not gonna chase me like, at a very fast pace after I grab this, are you? No, no, of course not, bro. Oh, we're totally gonna chase you at a very fast pace. Sixty-four. 
It's humid, reeks of dust, and it's the worst place ever, right? Are you alright? Yeah, for now at least. I hope I remembered this code right. I think I did, I have a bad short-term memory sometimes. Okay, it worked. Stairs. It seems to be connected below. Use key card number two. Implying there's more key cards after this. Hear that noise? That's a noise of fun. Ouch! Damn bats! Tell me, batty. Akia, do you know how to operate these machines? No, not at all. I see. I was hoping a little, though. Awoni. This truly is a strange place, isn't it? Yes. It'll be best not to be stuck with what's common sense and normal ways of thinking. Whatever that means. Perhaps you might even find clues for getting out of here in unexpected places. Which really just means keys. Okay. Pick up the rubber gloves. Can I go back up to here, flip the switch? Shazam! I have no idea what you are. Wah, how creepy. You shouldn't make light of them. Those hostile fellows will come at us. Of course. Doesn't seem like we're going to accomplish anything by touching them anyways. This place sucks. Hammer. Alright, there goes that crystal. Hey, won't you try tampering with this a little? It'd be best not to. If I were to mess up, we might not be able to get out of here. I thought you'd say that. Wait for, wait for the army till you too, man! Oh, I missed something. Dang that. Oh, I see you're back! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I sure like it how your hell dimension still seems to run on op a logic of keys and doors. Let's get out of here. I'm tired of this cave sewer level. Huh? Seems like we finally made it out. It was eerie, and there was not a single person. It would have been dangerous going such places alone. Gah. Akia? This is sorta... really bad. Are you alright? My throat is all dry. 
I need to look for something to drink. But you know what will happen if you consume something from another world, right? Eventually you also no longer be able to say that. You're also on the brink too, right? For now, let's go on forward. Can't just turn back here. Of course. What do you think you'd accomplish getting all fate hard like this, you baka? Baka meets stupid. So that's it for Red World, part one. One thing I can say that this world is, well, pretty red. Um, it's pretty worldy. And it's filled with a lot of killer animals. But not too scary of a place, it's actually not that bad. I, the probably the scariest thing is, is that everything is just key puzzles, which drive me up a wall, and absolutely horrify me. But eventually we'll be out, and hopefully we'll be away from these key puzzles. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, and stay tuned. Part 2 of The Red World.